great share so far, guys. Uh, Tom, I guess, do you want to go or should I go? Yeah, um, I can go. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, this week I didn't trade much because of the whole move and lots of things going on. Uh, so my biggest lesson then of the week is going to be um, when you're in a state of transition or you have a lot of things going on in your personal life, whether that be like change in work status, relationship status, family changes, traveling, relocating, et cetera. Um, it's usually a good idea to either have no trade days, either size down if you're going to trade or, and also trade less during the day mm -hmm. because your mind is like somewhere else. You're not completely focused uh, on the day because if you're in a state of, well, for me, I was moving. There's just so many things going on that I had to make sure had to be in order for me to complete the move. There was just had such a large to-do list that my mind wasn't completely focused on trading. And that actually, I was able to get, and actually caused me to get more emotionally triggered when I did take a loss. And I would quickly snowball into a bigger and bigger loss, and which happened when I was, at a hotel, um, I was like, my goal was just to get small green. And I took a couple losses. I'm like, oh, I just got to get small green, got to get small green. And then Alex was like, you know, my worst days are the days that I have other things I need to get done. <laughs> and Agreed on that for sure. <laughs> and I just sit in the computer all day to try to make back losses and just snowball. So I was able to walk away. But... <clears throat> For example, just that situation emotionally, like I wanted to stay in that seat. I wanted so bad to keep trading and try to make it back. But the best decision was to um, to get back to what I needed to do so I can complete the move because I had so many things going on. Yeah, 100%, bro, because I've, I've noticed I've, I do quite a bit of traveling as well. And every single time that I trade the morning of a travel day, I have what I call block days, which is well beyond max stop red days yeah so right. i change them to black days and it's <laughs> almost every time i travel i i force myself into one and it's usually before 10 o'clock which i generally have a rule of i like to give that first 30 minutes to see how the market starts to develop see if it's ranging see if it's trending and then on my travel days next thing i know it's 9 53 and i'm <laughs> double max loss and i'm yeah, like man, and you want to stay there and try to make it back but i get yeah. that's why like um ross you know with someone like Ross, like he's got so much experience and he said he's, he's only took one week off when he was on vacation. Every other vacation he was working, he, he traded. And, you know, I like his psychology or his mindset of just, you know, if I can just get green and get out, you know, for 30 minutes or an hour just to make some profits, it feels like um, you made some sort of progress or you, you're taking advantage of, you know, the market while it's open. Uh, so I do, I do subscribe to that. Like if I can trade, I will trade, but there's got to be that line in the sand where you're like, you know, if you don't want to be spending your vacation sitting on the computer, that's the, that's the main thing. Uh, yeah. We're saying. upset about a red day. Yeah. And that too. yeah we're vacation. upset. Yeah. That energy, yeah. that, that negative energy you're going to be carrying with you for the rest of the day. I, that happened to me in Utah recently this last year. I was, you know, we wanted to get up early because it was going to be a powder day. And it was only like, it was like a Thursday or something, which is typically a good trading day. So I was like, all right, well, you know, in Utah, I get up at like four something and then, which is basically 7am. Well, it's 5am is 7am. So, I, oh yeah, I got a little bit of time to trade. And that was a max loss day. I had over a thousand dollar red day. And it was because I was even in a trade and I was like, all right, you know, I got a couple more minutes for this trade. So I just rushed it, cut it, popped up. Then I chased it flushed yeah. again, stopped out again. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I was like, ah, oh, like I know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it all wrong because I got, I got a place to be. And then that whole ski day, I was like Thinking kind of upset. Yeah. 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 Not even enjoying the moment at that point. Yeah. It, that really sucks. So when I went to uh, North Italy in Zutio for skiing last year, I just took the whole week off. And then after that trip, I, I didn't open my laptop once on this trip. And I don't think I've done that for years. And then after that trip, I had 20 green days in a row, Holy <laughs> hell. you know, so it's just yeah, like, good. boom. So I, I missed some good trades that week. Somehow it happened to be one of the better weeks last, last week. That's last year. That's always how it is somehow. But, uh, 
I don't know. I think I think net it probably was green that whole experience to take those days off. So yeah, I I I subscribe to what Ross is too, and it's hard not to want to trade, but time off is also really powerful. Yeah, definitely, definitely powerful to have time off. But you know, a lot of us who uh have like this positive mindset of like we're gonna make money every single day when we take a day off, it's like uh, I just like I don't know. It feels like I'm missing, missing out. It feels yeah, like I, sh- like I should be green or is going to be green today. But sometimes, you know, taking that day off, you actually could be avoiding a red day. So you just have to think about that flip side as well. Like you never know if you took that week off, if you didn't take that week off at skiing could have been a red week. You know, yeah. You and then you'd have yeah uh, two, two expenses. It it's, it's tough, man. You took your birthday off recently, right? Well, it's because we we're off. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was it was Monday. Martin Luther King Day. Okay, I, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have taken the day off, but hey, you yeah. could have traded futures, man. Off. Nate, shut so. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you <trade> futures, right? <laughs> Dangle the options and futures in front no, of No, seriously, bro. If anyone's the biggest <laughs> DJ I've ever fucking met, it is Nate. <laughs> okay. So good. So good. 